Hi, I wanted to talk about Apoggio. Apoggio is literally to lean on the breath. Without the proper Apoggio, you cannot sustain long phrases and eventually you will start supporting in the throat. Um, a good description of Apoggio, of Apoggiare, is if you imagine a balloon blowed up, not totally full, and then you put it on the table and you push on it, what happens? It expands. You get this resistance and it expands. This is precisely what happens, what should happen when you breathe in and the intercostals here, they expand and you feel the air stream towards the back. The back muscles are very important that they expand as well. So you have this all around feeling of air and this cushion that you have, which like the balloon gives you a uh, a sort of resistance that it does n not everything collapses when you sing it doesn't oh, you, you energize and obviously when you sing uh, when you inhale and you start on vowels the side will expand first Patria, o pa, o. And when you use the consonants, you will feel that the the uh, abdominal muscles contract, and on consonants you feel the front first um, being activated. So if you sing Patria or for a soprano aria Comescolio suspension and this buoyancy of air within your chest cavity, your back muscles, and you feel the abdominal muscles being tucked in when you start. So it's never, and then you will, it, actually automatically you will feel a sort of Okay, I feel them, you feel my stomach muscles, lower stomach muscles, abdominal muscles being pulled in. So just right with the men underneath your belt. So for the women, just below the belly button. Those muscles, you can, if you can't, for some reason, feel that, all you have to do is imitate a cry of a baby. And you will feel these muscles automatically contract. You will need this when together with expanding the, the, the sides, the intercostals, the back, Patria mia, al fin, al fin ti fego. Okay, I think it's...
happens to be the, the aria of um, I Vespri Siciliani, the bass aria. The basic principle appoggio, appoggiare, is buoyancy, leaning on the breath and the resistance. So you have this, you never collapse. So it's always too high for me, but that's okay. The principle is right. And for tenors B, if you start on uh, right in the passaggio on F, You feel the intercostals sideways. Get this buoyancy going, so you always feel when you sing Ah, there's this balloon-like action that I'm actually singing on, which will give you stability and a lot of rest also when you sing. So there's the danger of um, not preparing yourself is that it all gets caught here. Oh. Or if you sing the... the, the bell, uh, Baritone aria. Bella si come an angelo. And you get this. Bella. Get stuck. Open, open up the intercall. Bella si come an angelo. Hai già vinta la cosa. Cosa sento? Ah, ah. So that brings me to another point, the vowels. The vowels, in principle, are kept very close together. The sound comes from the larynx. So, in principle, they should be Now you see all sorts of uh, pictures of the legendary Caruso placing the A and the A and the E. Don't forget this works for certain singers. They need a position that doesn't mean this is carved in stone for that vowel. The A vowel should have a little inner lift as I uh, talked about in another uh, video, the inner smile. This which does not mean that the sound does not come from here. It's just not oh, sunk down in the throat. difference of the vowels. Sound originates from the larynx and depending on the aria, the intent of the word, you will give the vowel color. If you uh, tenors always have these amazing phrases <sighs> Ah. 
all this here. Bases have the same thing when if you start on on um, a sound, which like the uh, o patria, okay, would be um, o but. <sighs> Ah, ah. Don't make the mistake of spreading the vowel into a smile or a grin. The smile is sometimes used within a phrase. If you you'll you'll see some some um some phrase, be it a soprano, a tenor, or what have you there. And it relates to the word and the phrase that they are singing. If you... Um, but the basic principle of the vowels are... And then you will see of uh, someone going... Aprite la tua finestra. Hey, that's much more open. Yeah, that has to do with the song or the aria at that particular moment. It does not change the principle of the vowel, the position of the vowel. The position of the vowel is a. Ah, ah, and very often you will have the inner lift, the soft palatal lift. So in order to do that, you need a neutral position. Ah, ah, and you give it a soft palatal lift. doesn't change the concept. I hope this clarifies it a bit. <laughs>